Hey there YouTubers, so in this video going to update the BIOS on this Gigabyte Z690 motherboard. So we've done the uh, the other way to update the BIOS which is using the dedicated USB BIOS with the uh, BIOS update button and using that version you can install a BIOS from a USB thumb drive formatted to FAT32 um, with no CPU or GPU connected. So pretty simple. Now let's say you have everything set up on your computer. Uh, you know, we can do the update this way in the future. So uh, let's start with showing you where you find your BIOS update or BIOS version inside of Windows. And you would uh, go to System Information. So in that search bar, type system information that'll pull this up and we can see right here the BIOS version F7 uh, of course you can go into the BIOS and see the BIOS version as well alright so to find the BIOS click the name of your BIOS so if you have a different version of this maybe it has Wi-Fi the AX uh, maybe even the Z, well, the Z790 version uh, I don't know if there's a DDR5 version but search for the exact version that you have okay and then on the search results pull up the one that you have so this is the one i have now from this point folks the directions are pretty much exactly the same all right you're going to click on support over here downloads bios and most likely on all these similar motherboards, they're all going to say F20 and this date. All right. Now, today's November 21st. There may be some uh, additional updates done here. Well, there's definitely going to be. So whatever the newest version is, and that is, you know, what the latest date is right here. So if it's 2023 and you're looking at this video, hopefully there are some done in 2023. All right, so we're going to download this file. Oh, yeah, before we uh, go any further, so we downloaded. Make sure you check all this information in the description. Make sure that you fully understand what you're getting. And remember, the one at the top is cumulative, so you're getting all the stuff below that's, that's necessary, right? All right, so you clicked on this. You saw it pop up, depending on what version you have uh, or what software you're using. You may see it up here, you may see it down here, but in the end, your zip file ends up in the downloads folder, okay? Right there. And so you'll want to unzip this, so hit extract all. And then there is our file right there, okay? Now, the difference between this and the other BIOS update, we don't have to rename the file name. Um, and I'm talking about if you use the dedicated USB, you're just going to take this whole folder and put it on a thumb drive, okay? So I'm going to go get a thumb drive and put that in here. All right, so you see um, I'm using the same thumb drive that I used from the other video. In that one, that BIOS file got updated or rename, excuse me, to this. In this case, though, I've got to delete the old BIOS files, so we'll get that out of here. Then we're going to copy. We could just copy this file over, or we could do the whole folder. Let's go ahead and just take this file, copy it in here. Keep forgetting I have Windows 11 here. And so that will copy in here, and we'll see that file in there. Now notice um, there's all kinds of ways to have this thing formatted. And in this case, it's a USB 2.0 drive formatted to FAT32. Uh, if it is USB 3.0, usually NFTS works with Gigabyte. All right, so once we've done this, folks, we got our file. Before we enter the BIOS, uh, check to make sure the weather looks good and that you um, aren't going to have any issues with power going out, okay? So that's very important. 
If you got a note from your power company, the power is going to go out. If you potentially have a battery backup uh, that you can plug this thing into, that would be safer. You do not want to break your motherboard, okay? All right, so if everything looks good, let's restart. Now, I didn't really go into it, but there's all kinds of reasons for updating your BIOS. I think somewhere I have a video on that. But um, So as we do this, folks, hold in the delete key, and you should end up in the BIOS. If delete didn't work, F2 will usually, or both of them will work. Now, if you continue to do this and it doesn't let you in, so in this case it appears it's F2. So if you can't get in at all, then you're going to pull your drive out. But uh, all right, so F2 worked. We're in here. We're just going to go over here to QFlash if you end up in easy mode. If you go in and you're in advanced mode, you could come down here to the bottom, all right? So let's act like we came in into easy mode. Click over here, click F8. And we want to update our BIOS. Of course, if we wanted to save our BIOS, we could do that. You see there, that's F7. And so we'll go ahead and click here. And then there's our file, F20. We'll click over here. Now, once again, are you sure you want to do this, all right? Um, I am. Hopefully you are. Go ahead and hit yes. And so at this point, folks, you are going to click right there. And then OK there. And then step away from your keyboard, your mouse, and just let it do its thing. Should reboot on its own and install the BIOS. Now, I would recommend that you go in occasionally and check to see if there are any other updates in the future. And just make sure that uh, if there is, it's something worthwhile to do a future up BIOS update. You may find it not necessary. Uh, you may be having hardware issues, and if that's the case, Hardware conflicts, the BIOS update may help, may be something else. Security issues, um, you know, obviously for this case, going to 13th gen, right? Um, that's what most people are updating their BIOS for because they want that much more extra power out of their uh, 600 series motherboards and putting that. 13th gen CPU in there. Uh, there's no doubt the i9 that I have in the uh, other, uh, the Eris motherboard that I have is by far the most powerful CPU I've had, not even close to any of the other ones. So it's still going. Now, this video, no editing involved, really. I did pause for a moment to put the USB in, but Realistically, this is going to take, you know, looks like 11 to 12 minutes for the whole process to work out. Sixty three is taking his time. Now 
And now it's starting to, to move a lot faster. Um, you know, sometimes I've, I've paused this in the past, but like I said, I want you guys to get an idea for how long this really takes from start to finish. And some of you, you know, if this were to take two hours to do, it would probably scare you to the point that you would not do the update. And I honestly can't remember last time I've had an issue with a motherboard after BIOS update. I mean, there are some BIOSes uh, for 13th gen that aren't so great, but, you know, the computer actually not working and such, I have not had that problem in a long, long time. So, 98, 99, it's going to reboot. And we should see current uh, BIOS here in a moment. If it goes back to the BIOS, it most likely will end up in Windows, though. So we're at the 12 minute mark. Any moment now, folks, it will come out of whatever mode it's in. Here we go. Restarting. So things that could happen, folks, um, you may find, it looks like we're going to go into Windows. So once again, we're not done with this video yet. Uh, Oops. Check system info. F20, boom, November 3rd. And now let's go uh, to the BIOS itself. And we're clicking F2. Or not clicking, but holding in F2. And, of course, it didn't uh, go into the BIOS. I'm about to start jamming on these buttons, folks. Um, come on, go into the BIOS. All right, so um, I'm not sure why it is not going into the BIOS. We're going to uh, shut this down, pull the drive. I'm going to shut this down, pull the drive out, just so you guys can see a couple things. All right, so I should not have had to um, remove the drive just to get it to Go into BIOS, but such is life. Um, so one thing you'll notice, XMP is disabled. You know, get that back going. You're going to enable it. If you had multiple drives on here, your boot sequence might have been screwed up. That's another thing to check, assuming it lets you actually into the BIOS uh, using F2 or delete. But uh, yeah, folks, that's going to do it for this video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.